Hey everybody, so this just about wraps it up for the bone stress segment. Uh, high risk versus low risk bone stress injuries or stress fractures was the uh, main topic for today. I wanted to kind of delve into that. Last time I alluded to there being different common sites of injury, but then we can further break those down into uh, what type of stress fracture is it? Is it a high risk injury or is it a low risk injury? Now, what we mean by that is low risk injuries usually heal very well. Um, they'll get better, usually about four to six weeks worth of uh, non-weight bearing activity or just um, eliminated activity so you can let your bones heal. Obviously, when we want to address nutrition factors as well, um, and then we'll slowly ramp you back up to activity. Then we get into high risk stress fracture sites, and those are the ones that we have to be a lot more careful with. Oftentimes, I'm definitely going to, once we you know find out from our uh, local friends uh, imaging, any kind of MD or other, uh, you know, collaborating professionals, we're going to find out exactly what exactly is going on, take a look as to why it happened, but high risk stress fractures are also some that may not heal very well on their own, higher risk of uh, non-union, so incomplete healing, and uh, oftentimes there may even need to be surgery included because the area just may not be stable. So uh, it's really, really important for us to find out what kind of fracture it is or what kind of injury it is before we can get into more of the uh, long-term healing and the prognosis. So, um, you know, sometimes it'll take a little longer. A lot of literature says um, maybe six to eight weeks, but I've seen, I, I like to err on the side of caution with these and I'm usually pretty aggressive. Um, so caution for me is I like people to be, uh, you know, at least eight weeks um, that's generally what we see as far as, um, you know, minimizing activity. And then we get you back into the appropriate level of activity. So um, those are really the important things. So go ahead and take a look. Uh, fun little fact at the end that I left there for you guys. But these are, these are going to be slow. Bone stress injuries, they're slow, they're boring. Uh, they're not very fun and sexy to rehab from. It's a very slow process. 10 to 20% increase in activity per week usually is a good rule of thumb. So... Take a read. If you guys have any questions, as always, uh, you know, ping us, uh, shoot the questions our way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is something uh, fun for us to talk about and we hope, uh, hope you learned something.